Oh dear.
bodega. Oh, dear. 
today. Hello friends, and welcome to Friday Night's Peasants' Revolt. Um, together we will be learning how to understand, and then understanding, King of the Castle. Uh, just an FYA, the extension covers up the timer area. When have the timers been important to us? When do we ever use the timers? When do we ever use up all the real estate on a... Uh, 1920 by 1080 pixel display. Um, so I'm hearing that the extension that King of the Castle uses is not necessary uh, to play. It just allows you to see information. Uh, it's not currently functional on the mobile app, but it does work on desktop. But people can play either way. And the information that it displays, I can also manually display on the screen if I choose if I'm in that kind of a mood. Um, as far as I understand it, this is a game of voting and political intrigue. 
it sounds like my kind of thing and I meant to get on it faster but now it's become a little bit of a phenomenon in its own right I was not quick enough uh, sorry um, you will be given some tools that will help you understand other things but I would not go as far as to say it will help you understand full stop I don't think votes will stack against me. Also, I think you'll be too busy fighting against each other. There we go. Had a little bit of fuzz. I fixed it. I don't. I don't know if. I, well, I don't really know what my role in it is. Let's find out together. Um, is everyone here who wants to play? Um, I don't know if it will lock you out. I hope people can sort of trickle in and join. Tr tr trickle in. Just, just pootle out. Um, yeah, I got to customize some guys. Um, I, 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 I customized this guy to look like me, but then I realized there's loads of guys. And I don't know if it works that way. But I, I based this guy on me. This is both... This is how I would like to be seen and how I would like to approach being seen. Without this sort of mayor's amulet. I look like I'm the mayor of a small town outside of Leeds. I look like I'm the mayor of... Um, Shipley. Uh, yeah, and a bunch of cows, a bunch of violent options. I hope so. I hope so. If they're giving us the Middle Ages, I doubt we're going to solve everything with diplomacy. Maybe we will. Maybe we'll invent the UN. I think you will look like the crown one. Oh, what? Oh, that's me. All right. Well, let's um, randomize this guy. <laughs> it's quite similar. Yeah, okay. Um, then I'll be this guy. Of course, of course. I'm probably probably this guy. I've been told I've got very um, shapely, well-balanced eyebrows. Not something I'm going to argue with. I'm quite pale. Oh yes, pale but also with the, the hue and contrast turned out. Kringston. What kind of feathers are in your hat? A quail and duck hybrid. Um, this? Yes. Yes. Um, yes. Yes. So far, so good. I don't like, I don't really like the crown. I don't think that really suits me. Mm. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's it. There we are. A little smile. Um, and it needs to be one of these with these thick, like that. That's... Oh, I guess it's the same outfit, but with a different cut for different body types. Probably got to be this guy. He's got a medal on. Oh, no, it's this guy. No, it's this guy. We should just do dressing up streams. We should just do streams about looking at outfits. How have we never done a stream just about looking at outfits? Lawrence of Leeds. Yeah, it could be... Um... Oh, I used to know all the... It could be like the H Huddersfield L. You should know all the little names of towns outside Leeds. That's where all the worst, worst shows were. Okay, there I am. That's me. Okay, can't wait to see me later. Pantaloons, yeah. What are pantaloons? Just trousers, right? Okay, we're going to go in. And then we're going to muddle through how things work. Monarch name, Maul. That's me, Maul. Dynasty name, We're getting a cookie error on the king of the castle thing. Uh, if cookies are wrong, if, well, I don't know if that's something I could fix here. Um, you might need to refresh. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. The thing is, if you tell me your errors, I can't guarantee I know what to do about them. Um, but if it's cookies, it should be... Uh, there you go. You'd need to enable third-party cookies. He, him, dynasty name, um, I don't know, what should the dynasty name be? It feels at once there's many possible options and none come to mind. Egg. Egg, yeah. King all of the egg dynasty. Looks pretty good. Egg. Egg. Yep, lots of votes coming through for egg. Well, they're not votes for eggs. People just say egg because they've seen the egg, word egg. Yeah, yeah. Nevertheless, I will take that as votes for egg. egg. 
play on Twitch. Stream on Twitch and your viewers can join your game simply by typing into chat. Players who've bought the game will appear in the story more often. Okay, how will... Oh, if people have linked their own Twitch account to it. Sure, that makes sense. Uh, our Twitch extension shows players their region, wealth, scheme and more. Install it by going to... We've done that. That's already installed into the channel. Choose three regions. What regions do people want? We have the Brash uh, Rural Lords, famous for their belligerence and fondness of for hunting. I thought it was for fondness, I thought it was fond people. The Chiefs are honourable warriors, renowned for their pagan religion and prowess in combat. We want the North, I think the Norths are important, so we've got the North in here. The Counts are ruthless aristocrats, steeps in secrecy, allegations of forbidden rituals are unproven. So we've kind of got unholy... Counts of the East. Yeah, they look um, unholy. Uh, we've got the Grandees of the South. They are impassioned duelists known for strict adherence to honour, etiquette, and the Ninth God. Patricians of the Coast. Yeah, we want some wet buddies in. Are we happy with that? Northeast and Coast. Yeah, that's um, Stage East. As you might know it, Starboard. Um, yeah, I think that I think that serves our purposes. Northeast and the coast. I mean, all of them just seem to describe Newcastle. Um, no, I think the unholy rituals that happen in the United Kingdom are, are proven. They've been uh, held up by various human rights watchdogs. Just hasn't been action taken against it. Join the game. Your nobles may now join via the Twitch chat with join followed by pronoun, e.g. exclamation mark join she. Players can join mid-game and their wealth and region are saved in continued games. So that's what I need to change my thing to. Edit command this stream. Hello, we are playing King of the Castle. Join the game by typing join followed by your pronoun, e.g. join they. Uh, they, they. They is equivalent to she. She said this, they said this. Cool. Um, hello Catbox, hello Oracle, hello Reception Music, hello Artafki. Welcome in, welcome in. King Maul of the I like I like King Maul of the Egg Dynasty. I suspect I'm probably going to want to get out of the way and stuff, so I'm going to shrink down a bit prematurely. I just assume there's going to be info galore. Um, is it allocating you randomly then? Are you picking where you can't possibly be picking where to go? Well done on the two plems getting together then. Red Centre, Cat Box, Reception Music, King of Time and Holes of the Chiefs of the North. Counts of the East include Dominic Cummings, Red Keyote, De definitely Rickard, Andy Plem and Dr. Plem. And the Patricians of the Coast are currently St. Laub, Imperial Halumi, Artafki and more. 3,193. Um, I mean, people can join at any time, but it would be nice for pure symmetry's sake just to see one more patrician of the coast before we push forward. Uh, and as a reminder, as this music continues to loop, uh, you can kank and decank with exclamation mark, kank or decank to get it just right. I will never be able to mix the sound perfectly to my voice, so I've just given you guys the option to do so. But I will never give you the option to turn me up or down. You can just mix everything else around me. Uh, brilliant, a good Pete has joined Patricians of the Coast. Um, haven't put any uh, pronouns, so I think that defaults to they, them in that case. You selling Pokemon, what kind? You ain't got any Diglett, mate. I bought loads of Diglett's once and now my house has got subsidence. My shed has fallen into the cesspit. Okay, let's begin. King of the Castle Primer. Yeah, let's do some tutorialising. 
Um, acquire an heir, then complete your ambition to win. Your first reign will likely end in disaster. Heavy is the head that wears the crown. Keep an eye on the region's schemes. If they pass all their stages, they will win the game. Be careful of the region's defiance stats. If it gets too high, the regions may rebel against you. Uh, to win, pass all three stages of your scheme. Each stage requires you to get stats to certain levels, which are affected in votes. How you vote is up to you for your region's scheme, to stop other schemes or for the good of the kingdom. Uh, if your defiance stat is high enough, you can rebel. This pauses your scheme and is risky, especially if you have low military. <sighs> okay, I'm checking I even understand all of this. You need to... So for each of the three uh, uh, groups, the east, the coast, and the north, your job is to acquire an heir, complete your first ambition, and your ambition relies on your your scheme. Um, no, that's me, the monarch. That's me. I'm the monarch, I think. So I want an heir, and I need to complete my ambition. Um, whereas you are all regents. For you guys, you need to keep an eye on your regents schemes and if any of you passes all of your schemes so schemes is your thing for me i want an heir and to do my ambition you need to pass uh three stages of your schemes and you do that by voting on stuff you don't have to vote for me our system of governance allows me to get a wet sword from a mermaid um and then you vote, or you may have a chance to rebel and just do a genuine peasant's revolt. Although I think you're noble, so a noble's revolt. Can you vote for the mermaid? Well, we'll see. I don't know. Hopefully. Maybe there's some mermaids in the, in the coastal region. Each season you'll get three events to play. Click on one to get started. Okay, so here's our map. Okay, so here's the coast. Looks like Spain to me. Then we've got the east. Looks like uh, the southeast, and then we've got the north. Doesn't look like anything. It is northern. Then we've got the frozen wastes, which don't, I don't know if they're coming in. Then we've also got the Ashmedian Empire and Tavalin to the south, and there's some other kingdoms, and including the Isle of Sal. I don't know if these guys are relevant. Um, the year is nine hundred and forty-eight. The kingdom has five authority, a treasury of uh, 3,000 Dogecoin, and a stability of five. Uh, and then you guys all have your stats here. So there's the chief, the counts, and the patricians. Um, so the patricians are really good at trade, but they've got low defiance. The chiefs are really good at military, but they've got no faith. And the counts are really good at farming. Oh, and they're really good across the board. <laughs> they just seem like the best guys. Uh, here's the noble list. Here we can see who everyone falls into. Albrot is here. Mono is here. Oracle of Truth is here. Summer is here. Okay, and now we're looking at events, are we? Coronation. Where do I live? I live in the capital. Here's me. I probably live in that big castle. I probably live in a Dulux queen-sized DFS mattress right in the middle of that castle, and I'm surrounded by muy coloured yoga exercise balls. Just how I've always wanted to live, and how I've always wanted to die. The path to victory. The monarch must acquire an heir and complete their ambition to win the game. A spouse is useful but not necessary. Screenshot that. <laughs> Screenshot that, put that on Twitter with the caption, me IRL. Winning the game. Complete your ambition before a scheme or rebellion usurps you. Or before you lose all authority, treasury, stability. If you click the extension, it toggles. Oh, yeah. Okay. 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 Um, okay. Complete your ambition before a scheme or rebellion usurps you. Or before you lose authority, treasury, stability. Is that me? Or is that you lot? You miserable serfs. 
The Monarch. This is your Monarch, the streamer's character. They don't appear in most stories, but not all. Sounds great. Kingdom stats. These are the kingdom stats. If any of them are at zero at the start of a season, the game will end. Okay, fucked. That's fucked. That's absolutely wrecked. Looks like a wreckhead made this. These are the region stats. Stats determine which events are generated. So that's your trade, your farm, and your military, your faith, and your defiance. Yeah, that's five. Famously, that's five. If defiance is higher than both authority and stability, a region can trigger a rebellion. This will pause their scheme and is risky if military is low. By carrying a long flute? Absolutely not. That is a stick. That is a stick for whipping the royal dog. There's no need to revolt, actually. I, 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 I want to make very clear at this stage, I have not done anything wrong. I don't think it's possible for me to have done anything wrong. I do have a stick to be a dog. And that's not my fault. That's uh, hereditary. There's the noble list. Can pop in there if you want to see them. Fine. There's the nobles. We've got some new spleenies here. Hello, spleeny. Can you can't run any Sun King level debts? I. Oh. You're new and unproven. The nobles of the council will scheme against you, hoping to kick you off the throne and put their own puppet claimant in your place. And I get to respond, oh no, those fools couldn't scheme their way out of a paper bag. I'm not going to refer to that. I don't think paper bag technology exists in this society. I think it's entirely anachronistic. I think I'll just say, oh no, um, benignly and begrudgingly accepting of my fate as future corpse. To defeat their schemes, you must secure an heir and prove that you are worthy of the crown by completing an ambition. My question is this. When you die, how do you care if the kingdom will remember you? Um, probably as a cowardly leader who could not stop the onslaught of the giants. Oh, oh, okay. As a conqueror, as a peacekeeper, as the greatest king who ever lived, as the father of the nation, as the architect of a new golden age, or as a saint. <sighs> Now we're talking my language. Can I draw some kind of box over all six? Can I draw some kind of uh, selection marquee? No. Okay. So it's it's kind of a uh, you know a game with no imagination. Say it more. I I either want to be the greatest king who ever lived, or I want to be a saint. I rather just want to be the greatest king who ever lived. I see you're the type who likes to build lots of statues of yourself, aren't you? You'll see. I suggest over the next few years you focus on improving your authority as much as possible. I can't wait. Once you've an heir, I will discuss how your ambition is progressing. Good luck. I don't need it. I don't need it. I got marble. I'm gonna get Whitlin. Council introduction. Is my chancellor? Ooh, just chancellor. Now that you're the king, your first duty is to meet with the council of nobles. Your nobles hail from across the kingdom, the wintry north, the desolate east, and of course the wealthy coast. Okay, one's cold, one's empty, and one's wealthy. Well, I say hello to the north. i got to get the red wall in line if I want to win the election. Um, that's chief reception music. Hello, reception music. Welcome to the court. Yes, that's for, uh, the stick is for beating up my dog. Don't worry, you nothing to worry about here. Um, should there not be an oracle phrase? It doesn't matter. Introduce yourself. To, oh, um, good looking in the days ahead, Your Highness. You'll need it dealing with us a lot. Okay, sounds plausible. Sounds correct. Random sip inbound. I won't be doing it. No, I'll, 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 I'll have a sip. We need to get rid of the ones that will drench me and destroy my life, destroy my body, and destroy my skin. I drink a lot of stuff that would take the skin right off my bones. I'll take the skin off my um, subepidermal layer, my subepidermal layer off my musculature, and it will absolutely throw my. Uh, oh, what are, they, what are the other things in your body called? Veins. 39 months, thank you very much, Catbox. Is my dog with me? No, I haven't seen my dog for years, um, ever since I got the stick. Premium Nobles. This is a player who bought King of the Castle. They can set their customizations, get access to special outfits, and appear more often in storylines. And it is Count Red Keyotes. Welcome, Count Red Keyotes. 
An honour to finally make your acquaintance, your highness. May you escape the doom that befell your predecessor, okay? Um, quite a scary thing to say. I don't really like the little claws coming out of your neckerchief. So, um, a bad first impression there, I think. And Lord Patrician Moore, 3,193. A pleasure, your serene highness. I hope to see our kingdom prosper and grow wealthy under your reign. The council hall immediately fills with raised voices as nobles argue with each other and demand your favour. I like this. I do like a lot this very um, scary looking fan. You sigh and sit back. Is this what the council is like? No wonder your father told you to avoid the throne at all costs and to keep dogs at bay. Okay, last one. Your Majesty, I've scheduled your coronation to take place in a week's time. Oh, why the hurry? To delay any longer would make the nobles restless, and when nobles get restless, they take their daggers and look for the nearest bank. I'll just say, they, would, they wouldn't dare. I'll be naive, I think, for fun. I'll be naive for fun. You should pay more attention to your history books, Your Majesty. The nobles are always plotting something. As is the tradition, the council will de decide whatever happens in your coronation. I'll say, of course. I didn't know that, but you have to act like you know what's going on. Should we call the nobles in? Choices and stats. Certain choices will change stats. Some choices that do so will indicate this change here. Okay. Some of your choices will change stats. It will let you know. Not all choices that change stats have these indicators. They do not show the region affected. Interesting. So, not all choices. So this will change a stat, but it won't say who it changes the stat for. Not all choices that change stats have these indicators, and they do not show the region affected. So there's some things that do mystery stuff. Okay, fine. Voting. These are on the upcoming choices your nobles will vote on. Each of these may change stats in some way. The monarch can change how a vote is run with a law. Oh, yes. Lovely. You may use one law per vote. to Try using your veto on one option you dislike. When a vote opens, nobles vote using the command exclamation mark vote followed by the, their choice of letter A, B, C or D. The monarch may close the vote any time after all the nobles have voted or the time it hits zero. Oh, oh, and I, I can, okay. Well, I want lots of authority, right? So the monarch can mark their preferred voting option. Wow. I don't need that, I could just say. So I'm going to veto. Select. I don't want to throw the king into the river. So that's vetoed by me. Uh, your other options are host a lavish parade with jugglers and fountains of wine. Makes my treasury go down, but stability goes up. Force the commoners to swear a blood oath. Authority goes up, stability goes down. Or the nobles must put on a vast banquet for a king. Farming goes up, but wealth goes down. Here's your vote. Do what you like. I love to swim. I love to swim by royal consent. There's a cooldown on the vetoes. Well, well, I definitely should have vetoed this one because... Because um, I need authority, I think. Okay, it looks like we're going to have a lovely parade. Suits me. Uh, continue. This feels like a bit of a tutorial vote. Oh, voting is closed. We are going to have a lavish parade with jugglers and fountains of wine. It sounds like a really unhygienic way to actually distribute wine. Stat changes. This shows which stat has changed and how much by. Okay. Ah, so the kingdom has lost a significant amount of money. And stability has gone up to civil. Um, my chancellor says the coronation is a great success. Jugglers, wine, fireworks and feasts. It has an impact on your treasury, of course. But what doesn't? Uh, just natural events, just uh, geographical events. Uh, metaphysical events probably the internal thoughts of animals probably doesn't affect the treasury things on other planets uh, the moon 
Uh, now you've played all events, advance the game by clicking end season. I'd love to. I, I'd love to. Each region will now vote for one of three randomly selected schemes. Schemes are made up of three stages with specific stat requirements. Passing all three scheme stages places the region's claimant on the throne, winning the game. Okay. So, this is the Chiefs of the North. Your leader is Odfin. Chiefs of the North, we all know I should be on the throne, not this imposter King Maul. How do we make that happen? Oh, okay. Um, you can see it for yourself. A for prophecy, which raises your authority. B for Ragnarok, for raise your own military. C for Hornblower, lower all faith. Uh, you don't have very long, so it's um, faith, military, or authority. Oh, you want to? Okay. You want to come and raise the capital? Okay, well, all right. I feel I have to destroy you guys. And we'll have to kill you. I think we're going to kill my buddies. I think I'm going to have to. I, do you know what? I'm in the capital. I don't need the Red Wall to win. You got Brexit. What more do you want? Holly your life. What scheme should the Chiefs pursue to overthrow the King? Uh, it's for, to do Ragnarok, which honestly sounds like overkill. It honestly sounds like a pretty, pretty fucked up way to behave. The Chiefs plan to make an alliance with the Ice Giants to take over the kingdom. I knew it. I knew it. I knew I'd be the coward that let the Giants come. I knew I couldn't stop the onslaught of the Giants. <laughs> Fuck. I knew it. I saw it. I had a dream on my first night. I dreamt a big dog ate me and then the Giants kicked my house over. Chiefs plan to make an alliance with the Ice Giants to take over the kingdom. First, they must not be weak or the Giants won't take their proposal seriously. To advance their scheme, the Chiefs must raise their military to five in three or more seasons. Your military is currently seven. Okay, within three seasons, your military needs to be five, and it's seven. Currently. And it's not raised by five, it's raised to five. So I feel like that would be very easy for you. I feel like, I feel like you've got an easy first job. Okay, the counts. Your leader is Grimwald. Uh, my fellow counts, in ancient times, the East was its own proud kingdom. We can bring back these days of glory, but not while the false king more wears the crown. Okay. Yeah, so this is for the Pope Purple guys, which which includes Plem, Plem, Rickard, Red, Dominic, Oracle, and Sharbel. Here we go. Do you want to lower stability? Do you want to raise the defiance of others? Or do you want to lower your own defiance? A for lower stability, B for raise others' defiance, and C for lower your own defiance. This one feels far more subterfuge based. I mean, now I guess subterfuge is only A, but they all seem. You guys are plotters. Okay, stability will be lowered. Oh, and I'm... It still seems to be accepting votes when it's zero. It's just when it allows me to move on. Hello, SK. Thank you very much for the 19 months. How are you? How do you um, be? Um, if you want to join SK, just put exclamation mark join in the chat followed by pronouns. Uh, you will be topping up either the chiefs in the north, the counts in the east, or the patricians on the coast. Uh, you were voted for subterfuge to lower stability. So rather than uh, affecting your own kingdom stats, your job is to lower the stability of the capital. That should have popped you in. Yes, you are one of the patricians. In fact, you're going to be voting on your scheme next. The Counts plan to replace the King's advisor with their own agents. First, they must prove they're doing a bad job. Mag B, hello, welcome. 
Uh, you have also joined the Patricians. The Patricians uh, is now the largest faction by two. To advance their scheme, the Counts must lower stability to four in less than three seasons. So currently, I think stability is six. So you have to get it down by two in less than three seasons, and you pass check one of your three-part scheme. Uh, okay, Patricians, you're up next. Uh, your leader is Florian, or Florian? Fellow Patricians of the Coast, my claim to the throne is far more legitimate than that of King Maul. Something must be done. Doppelganger, lower defiance, monopoly, raise own trade, corruption, lower authority. A, to have the lowest defiance, B, to raise your own trade, and C, to become corrupt and lower authority. I don't want to give any thoughts of mine on what you should do, because I am your enemy. I'm your enemy. Does it still accept votes now? Yeah, it seems like it does. Hmm. Ooh, it's a tie. They don't want to come and break the tie? I'm not sure if anyone can. Uh, what's that? Nine? Probably as many as you have. Yes, everyone's voted, so uh, <laughs> nothing to wait for. Okay, press on. Does it just pick a random out of the two? Please don't let it be the one that's do authority. <sighs> Thank you very much, Summer, Artafki, a good P, and Splendid Dotson. Um, I really didn't want the other thing to win. Maggie, you are not yet here. You're probably not going to get sorted into the same group. I wonder what this number next to everyone means. Do you know what I mean? I should mod this. I should mod Paul. Open. Paul. Closed. What do you think that 1000 number is there? You're waiting on a couch delivery. Yeah, that is important. And you can sit. The patricians plan to privatise this entire damned kingdom. First, they must build up their industry. Okay. Why is um, Florian talking about the patricians in third person? Okay, so the patricians want to build up their trade, I think. To five. Okay. Well, it's at seven, so I think you're in rude health. Claimants. Here you can review the region schemes and their claimants. When you have an heir, they will appear on the right of this page. If your reign ends abruptly, the nobles will vote for the next monarch. This vote is between the two regions with the highest combined stats and your heir, if you have one. And I don't. Your Majesty, these upstarts are saying they have the right to your throne. No doubt the, no, no doubt the nobles are already scheming to crown their region's preferred claimant. Um, okay, so you've got Odfin, the bastard offshoot from the north. You've got Grimvold, the ba oh, they're all bastard op offshoots. Except for Florian, who is an ambitious vassal. Um, so, in the north you have to get your military up. It is already up. Um, in the east you have to lower the stability of the kingdom by two, which is actually not yet complete. And for the patricians you need to get your trade up, but it's already up. Is it already up? Is it up? So for, um, so for those who actually have something they need to do, you have three seasons, counts in the east, to lower the kingdom's stability to four or less. Um, warning the monarch currently has no heir. I don't know how to get an heir. Okay, there are some events. Two of them seem to be in the coast. All I could do is click on events, right? Let's check out this risky wager that the patricians have. Uh, Lord Patrician Moore, 3,193. Do you explain where a baby comes from? I'll find one, right? I'll find one outside of a nunnery. I'll find one wrapped in a little swaddling cloth outside of a monastery with a little note. 
saying thank you for all the lovely beer. Hold on to your masks, hats and other accessories everyone. Conte Dr. Plem is about to lose a huge amount of money. This is bad news for Dr. Plem. We've bet our life savings on a boat race around the coast and I am sure to win the day. So sure, in fact, that I petitioned the council to officially sponsor my voyage. I'm going to ask what kind of boat will you have? My best trireme. It's tiny, but that's the point. It'll nip all around those deadly reefs. Conte Dr. Plem has arrived. He's talking rubbish, your highness. My nimble strug will easily beat more 3193's old boat. Well, my name's not Dr. Plem. You sponsor anyone, sponsor me. Well, Dr. Plem has always sponsored the streams, so it really is time to give something back. I think the I think the Plems are broken. I don't know why so many things are bust. I don't know I don't know why they're not working. Um, and I keep forgetting to fix things. Um, they're all here though. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll say what. Not that one. Oh. Right, but that's not that. This is the, the can is down here. There we go. Egg. Ah. It's got that taste that you just won't forget. I have to do it manually. Hello, Rosanna. Uh, you can still join very easily. Just exclamation mark join and then preferred pronouns. Oh. Oh, okay. So this is the vote that you all get to make. Um, A, to sponsor Lord Patrician. <sighs> Thank you, that helped me. <laughs> Thank you, that helped my brain. Uh, A, to sponsor Lord Patrician. More, 3,193. Um, B to sponsor Conte, Dr. Plem. C to sponsor both nobles. And uh, D declined to support anyone. Uh, my preferred option is Plem. Dr. Plem has always supported the streams. Um, nevertheless, now it is your choice to think about life. I don't know what the benefit of marking my preferred choice is. Surely that's only going to make you vote for anything else. Sorry, more. I guess you just didn't create a burning green drink. That was your mistake. Patricians are voting for B out of solidarity with Dr. Plem, who's sponsored the stream with their drink for many moons but yeah it doesn't make any sense for them <laughs> um nevertheless i don't think if all the patri if all the patricians voted otherwise would they have won yes absolutely they would have won and yeah benefited themselves voting has ended and i have a note a nobles voted for sponsor Conte, Dr. Plem. Am I saying Conte right? Is it Con... I want to say Conte. Because just saying Cont sounds unkind. Thank you, one and all. Soon the patricians won't be the only ones braving the ocean depths. The treasury has gone down significantly. Um, the defiance is now aloof. So you've got more... Oh, what's it called? You've got more of this stuff, Defiance. Um, the... Oh, Dr. Plem's... Defiance has gone down. Uh, but your wealth has increased. Dr. Plem's little boat is soon ready. A new flag is added bearing a huge, strangely discoloured rendition of your face. Excitement built as the merchants and tourists flock to the 
darting town. Soon both boats embark on their journey. They look very small and flimsy against the vast ocean backdrop. Your esteemed highness, I understand you elected to sponsor Count Conte, Dr. Plem. Would you fancy a small wager since everyone says you're sure they'll win? This is from Lord Patrician Spleeny Dotson. Yeah, I'd love to. I love to gamble. Oh, excellent. Then where shall you place your bet? Conte, Dr. Plem. Goodness me, a brave king to bet against the Patricians in a sea race. Actually, that, yeah, that, um, that's... Um, yeah, that's really stupid, isn't it? How much would you like to bet, your esteemed highness? The treasury's looking a little slim, so I'm just going to say 500 gold. 500 gold it is. Excellent, you won't regret this. You return to the capital to await news of the, of the race. Where's the news? Hang on, where's the news? Where's the news? Where's the news of the race? <laughs> oh well. We'll just find out later. I think you're in already, Rosanna. You are one of the, the chiefs in the north. Thank you so, so much, much for the welcome, welcome back. back. I love I seeing, love new seeing faces new faces in the chat. In the chat. And, I and I love seeing, seeing this community, this community grow, grow from strength, from strength, to, strength to, to strength. Let's do the honour guard. My marshal says, now that you are king, you need personal protection. Why, I could plunge my sword into your heart right now, could I not? <laughs> yeah, I suppose so. Yes, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready to go. Let me just finish my book. You need an honour guard to keep you safe from such dangers, your majesty. Unfortunately, this is a political decision. Now, what about the palace watch? Now, what are my options? What are my options? Each region offers a selection of elite guards. The chiefs with their most famous warrior heroes, the counts with knights of the order of the drowned rose, and the patricians offer their greatest gladiators, champions of the arena. Hello, Sudden Beth. We are playing a um, Middle Ages intrigue Twitch chat game. If you would like to play um, as one of the factions, um, just type into chat exclamation mark join and then pronouns uh, everyone currently is uh, in these factions here on the left we have the chiefs of the north the cunning counts in the east and the wet patricians of the coast um, everyone is playing against me I'm the king, I'm, I'm that guy on the left I'm trying to have an heir and maintain my bloodline whereas you're all trying to usurp the throne in some way um, the whole game is just done by voting and arguing. So I thought it would be very appropriate for this channel. However, if you just wish to lurk, take it all in. Also acceptable. Everything is valid. Happy Friday evening. Um, okay. Think carefully, Your Majesty. These guards' loyalties will be divided between you and their region. Of course, you could just hire foreign mercenaries and they'd be loyal to coin above all. Not an option for me because the treasury is very low. Welcome, Beth. You are one of the northern chiefs. Um, your goal at the moment... So each of these three groups are trying to change one of their stats. If you manage to do that successfully, uh, three times you win. Um, currently, your goal is to get your military up to five by the end of three turns, but it's currently seven, so you're doing great. I have had a lovely week, actually. What have I done? I found a massive bag of small Easter eggs that Vordale marked for four euros ninety nine. It's got a hundred little Easter eggs in it, and I brought it back to the house like I've been out and done something important. Brought it back and said, look at this big bag of Easter eggs. And I think little eggs here are really, really big. People love little, little eggs. Each egg's like, egg, egg. like a thumbnail. Egg, yeah, egg. Egg. yeah, you got it, egg, yeah. Egg. Yeah, egg, yeah. Of course, egg. in Polish, it's actually yaiko. Egg. Yeah. In Dutch, egg. it's um, egg. I. Egg. In I. Egg. 
oof, more I haven't seen your egg in a while. Egg. And that was scary. Egg. <laughs> egg. Can I see Moore's egg again, please? <laughs> I'd forgotten we had a scary egg in there. More, more, we want your egg. More, come back. Say egg. egg. Oh, it's great. It's such a good egg. Hello, Pirate Tiger. Happy stream birthday. Thank you very much for the 12 months. And good Friday and egg to you. Egg. I've been doing, this is off topic, just because my streamer control all that. I've been trying to find out things about Keir Starmer for an upcoming Mando's app. And it's egg. so funny how there's nothing funny or interesting about him. It's all awful. I've been reading um I've been reading some of Ash Michael Ashcroft's unofficial biography, which is just a fucking billionaire and we don't really care about his opinion. But I've also been reading um Oliver Eagleton's A Journey to the Right, um, which is full of like all the heinous stuff he's done, especially during his time as QC, especially his time as a human rights advisor for the Northern Irish Police Board, Robot. which is bananas. But I just want a little bit of fluff, just a little bit of something funny to say about him. And there's absolutely nothing interesting about this guy. And I'm finding it frustrating. I can't dig up the tiniest little moat of something, something that's mildly amusing. The funniest thing I can say about him is that when I asked ChatGPT over and over again to tell me something about him that's funny, it said his favourite dinner was lasagna. <laughs> and when I pushed it, it said it made it up. <laughs> and I've been laughing about that all day. <laughs> it's disinfo that Keith Starmer likes lasagna. Is Evil Egg broken? Oh, I don't know. I don't know where it went. I don't know where it's gone. I did, unfortunately, I found, um, I found a picture of Starmer in... Like he's like 21. He, he looks pretty handsome in it. It's really annoying. Um, think carefully, Your Majesty. These guards' loyalties will be divided between you and their region. Of course, you could just hire Far Earth and did this. We've done this. Everyone likes lasagna. Yeah, but imagine lasagna being your favourite food. It's not even like funny how lasagna is not a bland meal, but the idea of saying like lasagna is your favourite meal, something like that's just kind of funny. Also, because it's Garfield's. <laughs> I feel like you can't say lasagna's favourite food because of Garfield. Uh, tell me about the Northern Warriors. Tell me about the Eastern Knights. Tell me about the Coastal Gladiators. Or what foreign mercenaries do you, say, do you suggest? Um, I can't afford any foreign mercenaries because the Treasury is absolutely bankrupt from um, <laughs> betting on little boats. Is he the basis for the lawyer? Red, drop me a DM. Drop me a little DM about that. Didn't know that. That's literally, I'm writing down anything that's human interest about him. So drop drop that in. Tell me about the Northern Warriors. Bearded oafs with axes and no manners. They'll get drunk and cause trouble in the palace. Uh, sounds good. No discipline at all. And I can't guarantee they won't run off on some random quest, but they're honourable in a fight unbeatable. The Order of the Drowned Rose are highly respectable, they'll understand palace etiquette, but it's been years since they fought an actual battle. Uh, I don't want the intrigue guys to be wielding uh, swords. Talk about the Coastal Gladiators. A gang of low-born crooks who've turned themselves into celebrities through their skill at chopping other people to bits. They're vain and selfish. <sighs> I don't really want crooks. I haven't got enough money to support crooks. I'm probably just going to get the Northern Warriors because they're going to have big axes. And I'm not worried about them increasing their military strength because their military strength is already really high. I don't want them. It'll probably be the Northerners. It's probably going to be the Northerners. But it's going to... Hmm, will it turn up their... Def I don't, what does this symbol mean here? What does this symbol here mean? It's got like a little up arrow and a down arrow. Sharbal, it's been months. And I wondered when someone would notice that. I did that. <laughs> I did that ages ago and no one noticed. Labour leader Keir Starmer joked on Piers Morgan's life stories that he was brimming with manly passion over the rumour that he inspired Mr Darcy and Helen Fielding's Bridget Jones' diary. I tried to watch it, but I've been region locked in. I don't have a VPN. I, I, I should get a VPN, but it feels mad to do want to watch Piers Morgan's show. Um, Arse down, others up. 
it might make you you might make your defiance go up, right? Because if you've got a military inside the capital, your chances of doing a coup are going to be higher, right? I just I meant to put something in in the Discord, but everyone was just having their own conversations, and I didn't want to interrupt them. I know I shouldn't be like that. I should be like it's my name on the effing door, mate. If I want to talk about VPNs, I'm going to talk about VPNs right now. I can't bring myself to do it in the moment. I'm just too magnanimous a king. Which is why you probably shouldn't overthrow me and just let me have a baby and let my baby be a king or a queen or a, or a them. It's going to be the Northern Warriors. They just feel like the best. Okay, the Deviance is angry. But the, I've, I've ensured the loyalties of the North. So the Red Wall is on my side, finally. Um, but I need to probably shut the patricians up. But their military sucks. So I, 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 your military is the lowest. You, you wet sods. I'm probably not going to care about that. Let him grumble. Why don't you dry off? The warrior heroes arrive for a few weeks later. They swagger in with big grins and bigger axes, belching and singing and roaring out unsavory jokes. One of your courtiers faints. Um, pirates. So do each of these count as a season? Each of these things I'm doing, is that a season? Pirates. Lord Patrician Mank B. You must do something about the pirates that have been plaguing their coasts, ocean trade routes. I lost a whole shipment of fine silks. And they killed the crew, of course, who won't be cheap to replace. Lord Patrician Mankby's wealth has decreased. Oh, and that's just your individual wealth. Sorry about that, Mankby. You got pirated. It's all well in the pirate bay. Downloaded your stuff. This is one season. Okay. Challenges. Some choices have uncertain outcomes called challenges. These can either be random or based on a stat. The percentage shows the chance of success. Okay. Um, my treasure is too low for B, so you can't make me do that. Um, so I don't get a mouse over on this to understand it, but there's a 30% chance of military something. But with C, it's, it's, um, it's known what will happen. The fights will go up, trade will go down, and... And also, I just want to say, I'm just doing some analysis for you. This is like, I'm going to break it down for you, nice and simple. If you don't want the patricians to succeed, then C would be good, because they need their trade high, and this will turn their trade down. Uh, it will turn their defiance up, so they're more likely, perhaps, to attempt an unsuccessful coup against me. You're not in the voting yet. I need to get better at telling you when I'm putting you in the voting. And Mank B will probably lose some personal wealth, which is not my aim. I don't want to single out individuals. The wet coast is a structural problem. Um, or we could order them to patrol the sea routes. There's a 30% chance of something. Military goes up, maybe for the patricians. But there doesn't seem to be any downside. So I guess the patricians will probably want to vote for that. And everyone else wants to vote for C. That's what I think anyway. And I don't see a need to veto, because I'm not really worried about any of this stuff, I think. Unless their military goes up. <laughs> Unless their military goes up. Because then they could kick my head off. We'll see how the chips will land. The vote has begun. A, to order the navies to patrol the sea routes. A 30% chance of success. Or you just leave them. Just fuck them. Get rid. There's nothing to be done, is there? Oh, that is only winning by one. That is now winning by two. Leaving them to the pirates is currently ahead by two votes. Now it's only ahead by one vote. I'm afraid in the end, I'm afraid there's nothing to be... Oh. Oh, I, I was too slow. 
Um, order the Coast Navy to patrol the sea routes has now won by one point. Well, it's only a 30% chance of anything happening. And you're helping the patricians there, Albrock. Well, who are you with, Albrock? With the North? In the North should coup Albrock. Voting tied. Oh, it tied. Break the tie by selecting one of these options. I'd rather disadvantage them and keep them weak. Sorry. I'm sorry, I'm the king. <laughs> I'm sorry, Patricians, I'm the king. I didn't know I was the tiebreak as well. It's. Did you just say wool? Oh no, it's two exclamation marks. <laughs> I thought you said wool. The Patricians scowl behind their masks and retreat to their opium dens, where they no doubt wonder why they have the king in the first place. The coast's defiance is now ridiculously high. They've gone up to mutinous. Their trade is now dynamic. It's still within the range to succeed, but it's not quite there yet. And some of the patricians' wealth has decreased. Yes, across the board, deficient patrician wealth is down. I've absolutely shafted those guys. I didn't realise it would be quite so brutal. <laughs> Wool. <laughs> Over the coming month, their trade routes are blighted by escalating pirate raids. Still, what are you expected to do? Pirates are natural risk of seafaring like sharks or scurvy. Artafki's got it. I don't need to be diplomatic because these guys have a weak military. So I'm not worried. I've got my big stick. What have they got? A fan? A little boat? <laughs> you're going to need a lot more than that if you're going to come after me and my chief and my, my personal unit of farting barbarians. Is there an aspect of the groups working together against you, or is it completely every group against themselves? Um, my belief. My belief is that uh, you should aim to make temporary alliances where possible. Well, I don't know if it matters, really. I don't know if it's important. I, um, I, I think it's up to you what kind of uh, importance that has. Oh yeah, and the game is separate. You can win as one region. Each, there's four groups essentially trying to win. Look at my wide fingers. There's four groups trying to win. And I am but one of them. I don't think you should team up to defeat me. I've done nothing wrong. I've done nothing wrong. St. Laura hard disagree. Just everyone go back to saying wool. I like that. Okay. End of what does lamp mean? What does lamp mean? What's lamp? Should I be worried about lamps? Wool. Just say wool. Yeah, that's good. Buildings. Nobles can use their wealth to bid on any building in any region. Each no we need laughing at my woollen face. Don't say that. Look at my white fingers. <laughs> yeah. I know they're normal. I've ruined them. Oh well. Nobles can use their wealth to bid. Is that my voice coming unwired now? I need to check that when I unwind my, my body, it unwinds my. Still, my voice always breaks this thing. Well, I guess I'm wide. I guess I'm just wide. How do we bid? Let's find out. Nobles can use their wealth to bid on any building in any region. Each of which affects a stat. This is done through an auction, where only the two most funded buildings are chosen. When the auction is open, nobles can fund with the following command. Exclamation mark fund A X, where X is personal wealth. When you're ready, 
Hit start auction to begin the auction. So the chiefs can build a fortress or a library. The fortress will improve their military and the library will improve their stability. The counts can build a cathedral which will improve their faith or a prison which will lower stability. Um, the count's aim overall is to lower stability so they will need to engage in prison building something I have been told off for in the past so it would be arch hypocrisy and I will be looking at who has voted for what it has not been the auction has not begun uh, the patricians uh, can build a grand bazaar which will improve their trade which is currently teetering a bit too low for their goal if they lose one more point in trade they won't make their goal uh, or they can fund a monument which will improve authority which I would quite like you to get um, oh I think you, you need the letter okay so it would be um, you want to do fund letter and then the amount and then on the right here you can see how much money you personally have Dr. Plan is the richest person in the kingdom richer than the king Possibly because of that unstoppable little boat. Um, do you want some time to confer? Or shall I just pop, pop it on? Ah, I see why it's not dewiding my voice. What about now? Have I dewided? Good. I should be normal. And the winner was inconclusive. Um, okay, the auction is now beginning. Please place your bids. Not thin, because it's my normal voice. Just, just normal. You got a whole minute on this? Oh, how is this working? Only one thing will be bid on buildings. I don't quite understand. Are there only... So it's not that every thing... There's only two things being shown at the top. Only the top two funded buildings. Okay, so one group isn't going to get a building. Okay, so at the moment... Prison is winning with over 3,000 discs. Um, okay, the Grand Bazaar is now pipped ahead. Hey, people are really spending all of their money on this. Dr. Plem and the reception music are still keeping quite a lot of money left behind for future bids. Time's up, what wins? Okay. Top contributor is Holes for the Bazaar. Um, Holes, I've got a feeling you're actually one of the Northerners. Yes, so it, it, it does look a lot like you've contributed three quarters of your total wealth to give the patricians a, a building, which is very kind of you. But I would say, um, no, I say that's good behaviour. Yeah, that's very nice. So, so the Holes has um, transferred 750 discs outside of the north and given it to the, uh, the patricians. Um, and the Counts have funded a prison, uh, of which Red Keyout gave the most money towards prison, which I will remember. Because I've received a lot of flack for making prisons in the past, and I, I will recall this. Rebellion. One or more regions are able to rebel and their defiance stat is higher than both authority and stability. Uh, yeah, that's just going to be the patricians. If the rebels get more victory points than the loyalist, they'll win the game. Okay. I don't know what victory points are. If the loyalists get more victory points than the rebels, they'll put down the rebellion and continue the game. If multiple regions rebel and win, a vote between the two rebelling regions with the highest stat will determine the successor. Important. Rebelling regions have their schemes paused. Regions with a high military stat are more likely to overthrow the monarch with a rebellion. If stability, authority or treasury hit zero, the rebels will win the civil war. Um... 
Okay, the patricians are on the verge of rebellion, but the fight is too high and one or more regents is considering rebellion. Rebellion will stop the region from advancing their schemes and they can't be taxed or take part in normal votes. Um, it doesn't... It's not suggesting there's going to be a vote or anything taken on it. Um, as anyone who's played this before, can they tell me if rebellion is automatic? If, if the defiance number goes too high or whether it simply enables that group to choose? Well, there's no action being taken here. It's just warning me of something that might happen in future. Seems safe to press on. Oh, okay. If you just look behind me here, um, you're on the verge of rebellion. Um, five are needed to start a rebellion. Do you know, I could always... If there's going to be stuff there, I'm happy to be over here, perhaps. Um, five are needed to start a rebellion. It just takes five people to vote to rebel. Patricians may vote by typing exclamation mark rebel. Um, but only if you're a patrician. So that is Summer, Spleeny, SK, Imperial, Mank, Good Pete, Moore, Artafki, or St. Laub. I miss cigarette ant coverings things on screen, to be honest. Yeah, that's a shame. I'm not bizarro. I am actually a normal man. Um, okay, no one wants to rebel. Very, very wise, to be honest. Pirate Queen, Bankruptcy Looms and Finding a Spouse. I don't want to... Um, um, let's just stick in the capital. Let's, I need a wife. <laughs> it's wife time. In the twisty passages of your castle, you can avoid your advisors, the nobles, even the spymaster. But there's one person you can't avoid. That's right. It's the milkmaid with whom we keep lending each other books. It's wife time, that's right. I do hope she likes wool. Oh. It's ma'am. It's me, ma'am. Why haven't you found a spouse yet? It's been almost a year. Um, I've been busy. You'd better find the time. Don't worry, I'll take the liberty of finding eligible candidates. What's your preference? Men, women, or you don't mind? I want a wife. Excellent. I'll send out messages of the most influential noble families in the kingdom. Let's see what they have to offer. I would have gone, I would have gone um, pansexual, but I'd already got in my head it's wife time, so I won't be distracted from that. Oh, okay. Just keep an eye out because there'll be some random wife encounters whenever I go into the tall grass. Um, I, I need to start out this bankruptcy. Men can be wives. You're absolutely right. 2023. We're all wives now. The treasury is almost empty, Your Highness. You know what? I'm also blocking the defiant stat of the counts. So maybe I live here. Me mams bringing me four wives to rate. The treasury is almost empty, Your Highness. Oh, where the hell did it all go? I know where it went. Betting on boats. I couldn't possibly say, Your Majesty. Perhaps you've been spending a little too freely. I haven't. I've just been met on Plem's boat. And given that Plem's been walking around with some Nike AirPods, I have to say that boat probably won, so where's my winnings? I'm going to march into Ladbrokes with my dog beating stick and start raising my voice to a previously unheard of volume. Apart from raising taxes, we have precious few options. You might get a bank loan or sell off the crown jewels or perhaps crack open some of your predecessors' tombs. That's right. I'm going to sell my uncle's pelvis. <laughs> Most were buried with piles of gold. Ah, that's way more sense than trying to flog a pelvis in the woods. Oh, okay. I get to make a choice. Okay. I'm in the way again. I'm simply just always in the way, aren't I? I guess I have to just be a shrunken little lunatic. There we go. Beautiful beautiful small iteration of my own face I could just mint more coins uh, I could sell off some of the royal jewellery to wealthier nobles does anything raise authority nope that I don't care not interested I could take a loan sounds bad I could tap, crack open some tombs it'll raise defiance do not wish to do that um, 
That will lower authority. The only thing I can do is just own the royal mint, so I'm just going to make more coins. There's no... I'm literally a medieval king, and I'm literally going to do Gordon Brown-style quantitative easing because I spent money on a big boat. This is just like uh, the Millennium Dome all over again. Hello, Lackey XY underscore. There'll be no hyperinflation. I'm Gordon Flipping Brown. <laughs> what I'm going to do is write a little note saying there's no money left and my heir will use it to absolutely discredit me for 25 years. The Royal Mint begins churning out new coins, allowing you to pay off several old debts. They were small boats, that's what I said. I have always been a small boat truther. S big boats cannot sail through dangerous reefs. It is loads, that's why I did it. It's Noble Patrician S.K. Schaefer, your August Majesty. Our pirates are more aggressive than ever. They follow a pirate queen who calls herself the Bloody Gull. She has established a stronghold on a t tiny speck of land called Spider Heart Isle. According to our spies, she is growing every day. She's going to get very big. Where, where are we going to do? Only half of our trade vessels reach their destinations. We have three choices. Well, you do. They can only influence the tides of democracy somewhat. Ooh, lucky I didn't see that question. I will answer it as well. Where are you guys from? I'm from the United Kingdom, currently living in the Netherlands. Uh, we're mostly from the UK, but there's a smattering of Sweden here as well. How's one joining mobile? Um, you join just by typing into the chat. You put exclamation mark join and then your preferred pronouns. The um, extension lets you see things, but you're only really seeing the things that you can see here. I, um, it shows your personal wealth. Um, some people have already cleaned themselves out, um, but you you are on mobile. You might have to rely on me showing it to you from time to time. Okay, the three choices are now. Send the Navy to assault her stronghold, which has a 20% chance of doing military. Still not 100% on what that is. Albra, I did on Wednesday night imply that you didn't have a passport. So I'd say you have encountered some racism. Um, B, pay the pirates a hefty sum to leave your ships alone for a year. Do your defiance go? Whose defiance will go down? Possibly the patricians. They lose defiance and they lose money. It could be good. Put a bounty on bloody goods, girl's head. Maybe that's a 60% chance of killing. And then they send a diplomat to broker peace with the pirate queen. I don't know what anyone should do or why. It seems like A has a chance of succeeding and it's based on military. Oh, no, I understand now. Um, the 20% the chance of success for A is because the military of the patricians is so low. So it's just really low. Nothing you could do about it. They have a low military stat. Um, just type the letter. No, I think you want to do exclamation mark vote and then the letter. Um, pay the pirates a hefty sum, so um, their defiance goes down and they lose loads of money. So that would probably harm the patricians the most. Um, put a bounty on Bloody Girl's head, that has the, that has a 60% chance of succeeding. And then the send a diplomat to broker peace with the pirate queen. I don't know what that does. It loses the treasury money. Uh, I can absorb it. I can absorb it, I don't care. I'd rather not be, to be honest. Rather not be. I'd rather, um, I'd probably rather just do this and let it fail and just let the pirates absolutely ravage the patricians. So, no, I don't think it'll increase their military, will it? I don't think it'll increase their military, will it? No, I think it's based on military. I think the reason it's like that is because their military's so low. I don't think it'll improve it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to continue my silly thing. Start vote. Okay, the vote is beginning now. A, to assault the strongholds. B, to pay the pirates a hefty sum to leave the ships alone for a year. C, to put a bounty on the bloody girl's head. And D, to send a diplomat to broker peace with the pirate queen. 
Um, the bounty is winning by an arm, a neck, a head, and an esophagus. Um, no one wants to send the navy to a sort of stronghold, even though that's my choice, me, the king. Um, putting a bounty on the bloody girl's head looks like it's the most favoured, predominantly because the patricians voted for it, because it's the best option for them, and the vote was perilously split elsewhere. Thank you for the wool, Sharble. I really am amassing an absolute fortune in wool. Um, okay, put a bounty on the bloody girl's head. Has this succeeded? You post an impressive bounty on the bloody girl's head and wait and wait. Oh, it succeeded. A month later, okay, we'll just transport it a month into the future. Someone arrived at the palace, a broken nosed fellow in a stained coat. He's carrying a bloody pearl up sack, which he thumps onto your table. I solved your pirate problem. Weren't easy. Now give me the money. This guy's got a great sword. This guy's a pirate who bloody goes around with a great sword. He's sailing a galleon with a great sword. How did you do it? With a great sword. They called me Top Cat. I was a pirate. Oh, sorry. I read that as Top Cat. And I'm thinking I'm going to keep it that way. They called me Top Cat. I was a pirate captain and friend to the bloody gull once. That was before she started demanding I call her Uranus, telling me to bow and scrape and such. But there's no queen of the sea. So when I saw your bounty, I thought I'd correct some of her delusions and make a pretty penny doing it. Oh, okay, so I can check inside his sack. I've not thought about Top Cat in a long time. Do you think that thing about putting a bit of string into a coin and then pulling it out of a Pepsi machine works? Do you know how it works nowadays? Probably not, right? Probably sets off an alarm and intentionally falls on you. Check inside the sack, give the man his money and send him on his way, or refuse to grant him the reward. I cannot afford for authority to go down. I do not do not want them... I'm going to check inside the sack for one. Are you bullshitting me? It's a woman's head. You're not sure we expected. Can I verify the identity of this woman, please? Oh, okay. Um, all right. It was him. I do not want authority to go down under any circumstances, and I'm going to have to pay him and let the patricians gain a little trade boost. Put in their trade up to six. Wrecked, that's wrecked, that is. That's wrecked. What a wrecked turn of events. The defiance is now insolent in the patricians and their trade is now opulent, which is bloody sucks. This is bad stuff because the pirates are no longer suppressing their economic activity in a bloody bloody brine thanks top cat the rebellion has been halted um nothing you can do about that the rebellion's done it's good to see people saying pwned in the chat but i'd rather you say um wool i like to like you saying wool a lot more you may collect a common tax or target a specific region okay yeah i can't wait taxing a region will increase their defiant stats and decrease noble wealth Ugh. Okay, it's probably going to be the patricians. Sorry, the patricians are getting a lot of attention, but they're the safest people to annoy. It, oh, I, mm, uh, mm. I could tax myself, possibly. Possibly just tax you. I, mean, I could possibly just give you a little tax. Just a little taxi waxy. Just a little. You're right, Sharble. Thank you, advisor. Thank you, Councillor Garble. Bam, bam, bam. Back up to five figures where I feel comfortable. I'm the blimmin' king. Shady business. Let's see what's going on in the north. Troll in the dungeon. That's a Harry Potter reference. Sorry, but I cannot give J.K. Rowling any of my attention money. Um, I do not want to play Hogwarts Legacy. Let's try eligible options. It's wife time. WT in the chat, please, because it is wife time. SK, I'm not sure that's canonical. I have found three potential matches for you, one eligible young woman from each of the kingdom's three regions. Oh, of course it'll... Oh, King Frey's in bound. We broke. Didn't work. Choose wisely. You'll be securing a powerful alliance. 
Okay, sure. And a partner for life to have and not to hold, don't forget. I suppose so, but the Alliance comes first. Who do I want to ally with? Probably the Red Wall. They've had Brexit, but they still seem angry. Your mother leads you onto the Great Hall, where she's arranged the three portraits on easels. For now, each is covered by a cloth. Yeah, all right. Blind date. So the black's pregnant. She whisks away the cloth from the first portrait. This is Hilda, the firstborn daughter of the Northern Rosanna 20,736 clan. From what I've heard, she knows exactly what she wants and she'll do whatever's necessary to get it. Okay. So it's sort of, uh, uh, so with grey hair, so probably quite old, but sort of an old cutthroat woman with an alphanumerical surname. I'd say that rake's pretty high, I'll give that an 8 out of 10. Strangely enough for a northerner, she's an enthusiastic convert to worship of the Ninth God. She's an incredibly driven person, by all accounts. Gets up at the crack of dawn each morning and goes for a swim in a frozen lake. I could see the appeal, I suppose. This is Lorelei, the eldest daughter of the Eastern, definitely Rickard dynasty. She's a good-looking one, eh? <laughs> Not a bad word is said about her. Everyone likes her. I like this, um... They've done, the, like, the razor in there to make some little lines. But this choker really scares me, as well as the whole goth thing. Goth plus choker. I don't want a buzz cut goth, goth girlfriend. That's just too intense for me. I want someone who's just mostly going to hang about the house and play with really nice IKEA animals. I'm scared of this goth. No way to tell if the head's actually attached yet, whether it's been stitched on. This is my kid. No, I'm saying your kid's too powerful for me. I'm dissing myself. I do not have the chops to rein in your child's taste for eating carrion. She had a laboratory installed in her brain and spends most of her time there conducting bizarre experiments. She's left a train of broken hearts in the way. I, I'm, not, I'm not getting involved with Frankenstein, sorry. Sorry, Mary Shelley. I want to have nice hugs. And finally, from the coast, we have Camilla, the wealthy heiress to Lady Patrician's summer B-76 estate. She wasn't originally the heiress, but her elder sister had an unfortunate accident. Sorry, I just don't want to get killed in the night. I... I listen, my issue is... There's a certain... There's actually a broad sweep in the genres of hot woman where I predominantly feel fear. And a fear so profound, it completely blocks out a potential for a fondness. <laughs> anyway, this is a grieving woman from the Patricians. It could help. I honestly think I probably need to marry into the Patricians. Kill kill you. I love my wife, the Cactus Digimon. Um, I, 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 I do not understand that reference. <laughs> Her interest is typical of the coast. Money, money, money. Okay, so an ABBA fan. And making more of it. And apparently she's a dark side. I don't know much more about that. Okay. Marry a lovely chief. Stick my dog. <laughs> Have I said that? I like the sound of her. Okay, so it's... Um, what do you think? Of course, by picking a candidate, you'll anger the other regions, but you'll gain a lifelong alliance. I've made my decision. I haven't. I'm lying. Oh, okay. How old do you think my guy is? How old do you think my guy is? Lorelei is the only one that you like. No, Lorelei scared me. Lorelei scared me. Old as me. Old as you. 23. Hilda seemed really old, which is fine if I'm old, but it's not fine if I'm 26. She's full of wool. <laughs> she might be full of wool. I tell you what, if I really want to get wool, then I, I want to go as old as old as it gets, really. Charble. You're mixing us up. Safest to refuse them all? I don't think so. It's between Hilda and Camilla to me. Hilda or Camilla, practically made of wool. Hang on, no, that does nothing for me. If I want to get Defiance down, which I do, 
then I should probably... I'm not sure if I want a goth girlfriend. Oh, I don't care. if they, They're not going to rebel, are they? I don't know. I'm not going to marry any of them. It's just not time yet. No, that's bad. No, I should get married. I need to have a baby. Oh, I, I was thinking about love. Um, oh, my God. Okay, so let me think it through. The Counts aren't planning a rebellion, so I don't get the primary advantage of making an alliance. Yeah, I know I need a baby. I'm sorry. I forgot. I was thinking about love. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just wasn't horny enough. My 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 constant problem, I'm always getting that when I go to any performance review, they're always saying, you're a nice enough guy, but you're not horny when it counts. Um... I should get married. Nothing here raises. Who, who are you even talking about? Our tribe. Sharbal. Oh, you just want me to marry a goth girlfriend. Sharbal's just off, off the plate. Wool party. Maybe I should get married. There's no advantage to marrying Hilda, even though she is my wool goddess. Lorelei scares me. I'm going to have to, though. For purely political reasons, I have to marry Lorelei. I'm going to have to marry Goth Girlfriend to have my head bitten off. I'm going to have to go out with the Goth Girl from season one of Peep Show. Excellent, I'll make the arrangements. All right. I've mollified. I've mollified the counts. I don't want pretty. Troll in the dungeon, let's do it. Marshal, your majesty, the palace wants to report that there's a troll downstairs in the dungeon. I didn't know this was a fantasy game. Up until now, everything's been, you know, for like a page of our real history. What's a troll? A violent, brutish creature. I have no idea how one got into our dungeon, but we better do something about it. I'll deal with the monster before it hurts anyone. I'll talk with the troll. Let me let me talk to the troll. I'm going to get an ally here. This could be a replacement wife. Your Majesty, I'm not sure that's wise. Shut up. You stride past her and descend into the dungeons. Two watch officers stand guard over a troll who's snoring in the middle of an empty cell. It seems to have torn a hole in the dungeon wall. Officers poke it until it wakes up. Marry the troll. That's what I want to do. I'm going to kiss the troll. Gingerly, the officers poke the troll with their long pole axes. After a few rumbling grunts, one eye opens. Well, what? Oh, it's a troll. Nice to meet you. How do you get in here? I changed my mind. Kill it. Nice to meet you. Yes, um, you too. Who are you? I'm King Maul. What? The King Maul? Spirits. I must not have been myself last night. How did you get in here? I'm exiled from my people and it's been pretty cold this winter, so I wandered into the catacombs and went in search of somewhere warm. Didn't know I'd end up here. Wherever here is. You need to fix the damage you did to my wall. There's a 70% chance that the wall damage is undone. Perhaps you could stay here with us. Really? Why? I'm sure I could pay you to make use of your skills. This is better than a wife. This is an employee. <laughs> I'm going to buy the troll's labor. What do I want the troll to do for me? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. This troll is a mail order bride. That's a nice offer from you, your importantness, but I think I'd rather be getting out of your way. Oh. 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 The troll doesn't want to be my employee. <laughs> okay. Well, sorry, if I... Oh. Well, either I lose money to repair the wall or I just make the troll repair the wall. So I'll stick my dog. I've never said that before in my life. Other than earlier when I read out the same thing. But that was, you know, that was a quote. That was, that was reported speech. They can repair the wall. 
Yeah, or, or her. The troll sighs heavily. It sounds like a ship running aground. Okay. <laughs> sort of a non-event. <laughs> Thanks, troll. Over the next few hours, the troll helps patch up the hole. Meanwhile, you retreat to your bedroom for some much-needed shut-eye. It's been a very strange evening, indeed. Okay, well, that's that's me and the troll. Shady business in the wet country. Count Andy Plem says, Your Grace, I'm sure you'd be very concerned to hear the letter I heard from Conti, Dr. Plem. Please let this be the winnings. Uh, I'm sure you don't need to worry about that, your August Majesty. Let's move on to a different vote. How about... This is Lord Patrician Spleeny Dotson interjecting. No, I will speak. Dr. Plem writes... Happily, we're ahead of... Oh, the, the race takes ages, of course, because it's boats. I've been thinking about cars too much. Happily, we're ahead of Lord Patrician Moore 3193, but while we were making the most of our lead, I saw a coastal ship sneaking into a sheltered bay. I hate to speak ill of the Patricians, but it looks very much like smugglers avoiding the capital's important fees. This is preposterous. Hearsay, gossip, and nothing more. Here we go, Patricians absolutely going to get wiped off the map. Patricians have messed up once again, and we have no choice but to absolutely annex their country and sink it into the sea. Um, I, ha I have got someone to impregnate, thank you. My wife, I think you've heard of her. She's a goth. Um, vote number A levies a fine on the patricians, so they lose more money. At the moment, they really are... Uh, quite poor <laughs> this would only make things worse for them um, you could punish the patricians and reward Dr Plem for alerting the treasury which will damage their trade which we need to damage because their trade is 8 no one else has any stats at 8 at the moment um, the patricians are merely being innovative entrepreneurs which would just help the patricians. It gives them more trade. Maybe lowers the defiance. These smugglers are obviously skilled. Hire them for the spy master. It's mm, interesting. Wouldn't mind that. I wouldn't mind a bit of that for myself. Is there an option that will destabilize? Nope. No. Uh, yes, yeah, so A, to levy a fine on the patricians. B, to punish the patricians uh, and reward Dr. Plem. C, to reward the patricians for being innovative. And D, to hire the smugglers for the spy master. The voting begins now. I'd give a lot of consideration for the monarch's choice. A lot of people want to punish the patricians, but I really think, you know, the patricians have suffered enough. And it might be time to show a little bit of rewarding for the innovation that we're seeing here. The counts are on my side. Although they aren't, I mean, I'm not winning. I've won the, this, 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 I'm three votes away from even tying, so... Yeah, everyone just wants to be nice to Plem. Even though I'm right here. Even though I'm right here. Can you overturn a vote? Nope. <laughs> nope. I can just um, Monarch's Choice it, I'm afraid. Voting is closed. 13 nobles have voted for Punish the Patricians and Reward Conte Dr. Plem for alerting the Treasury. The Treasurer sends her most menacing heavies to fetch the gold from the Patricians' villas. Of course, they grumble for weeks about the injustice. So some of the patricians' wealth has decreased. Uh, <laughs> the patricians have been wiped out. Um, only Summer has any money, and that's just 50 wet discs of wool. Um, I don't know how unusual that is in this game, but that does feel like very low amount of money. Uh, the defiance in the, the patricians' 
wet metropolis is six, so maybe they can try and rebel again. And they are less wealthy than before, but still easily as wealthy as they need to be for their scheme. Worse, it turns out that the smugglers were in cahoots with more th 3,193 to provide illicit supplies for his voyage. Without their help, his progress slows. But Dr. Plem is pleased to receive the fruits of their snitching. The East Defiance is um, already zero because I married into it. And Dr. Plem's wealth has increased. They are significantly the richest noble in the continent. The race continues onwards. You wait to hear more from the competitors. Okay, that's the end of another season. Yeah, snitches get their stitches with wool. Far to the north, where the snow blankets the landscapes and wolves howl in the night, the chiefs plot to bring about the end of the world. Ragnarok. Praise Morgana. This is Chief's Holes. Uh, underscore 79 famously the chief funder of the great bazaar in the patricians wet capital uh, praise Morgana initial talks with the ice giants are going so well that they've gifted us a new patch of fertile land in the northern valleys the north have received a boost to their farming the gods are good with luck this will be the foundation of an alliance strong enough to rock the world says chief cat boxman He's wearing a, an entire dead fox as a little scarf. Can you switch to the screen that shows us how much we all have? Uh, yes, absolutely. You have 450 discs of wool. Uh, Chief Holes replies, The ice giants are a formidable ally. Tall as a building and limbs like tree trunks. And those southerners don't know how to fight them like we do. Dead foxman is very good. First, we must offer something the giants desire. It's going to be a demo disc. The whole kingdom's worth of pillage. Just what I was thinking. If we fill the kingdom with bountiful goods and plunder, the giants won't be able to resist. For the next stage of the chief scheme, they must raise other regions' trade to a combined total of ten or more in three seasons. Okay, so the Northern Chiefs, that's all the blue team, they need to make sure that the, com the combination between the Counts and the Patricians' trade number is 10. Once again, I think that is trivially easy to do since it's currently 11. Um, it's a fun idea that it's not just about raising your own stuff, it's about changing numbers all over the board. Yeah, it, you guys seem to have been shafted. You've also been in completely marginalised within the plot. Um, far in the east, Countess Charmble Garble is hosting a dinner party in her castle with a few distinguished guests. The kingdom's fine, says Countess Charmble Garble. No one's calling for the king's advisers to resign. We need to step it up. More chaos, more panic. This is better than a wife. This is an employee. I do say that. I do think that's quite good. Conte, Oracle of Truth, responds, then we can swoop in and offer the king an olive branch. Indeed. And if he doesn't want to take it, we'll smack him with it until he gives in. The Count's aim is to lower stability to four or less. We can adopt a law. Yes, 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 yes. New law. New law. This is, this is my kind of game. This is my kind of game. You can only adopt one new law at a time and you have a maximum of three laws to use. Okay, pretty good. This is as new law as it gets. The monarch's iron choice. The monarch can mark their preferred voting option. If chosen, they gain one authority. Interesting. Uh, after voting, nobles can change their minds and vote for a different option. Why would I want to let them do that? Uh, Royal Gamble, 500 treasury if the nobles vote for the selected option. Otherwise, nobles vote this one, this one, this one. Because I want more authority, and I could also use that to just... It's like a, uh, a veto, because you're not going to want to give it to me. I don't want to benefit you. I'm the king. I want things king want. I am me, I want my things. Obviously, 
There we go. Monarch's Iron Choice. Lovely. Lovely jubbly. And that's a quote from Rodney Plonker's only horse. Um, Patricia's the coast are on the verge of a rebellion. Let's see how they go. Um, if five people from the patricians vote for rebellion, you can have a really bad rebellion that won't won't succeed. You can just have a terrible little stupid life. If it's just a stupid child's little, you can get absolutely thwomped on the head, like a naughty teenager. You will be marked as the Asbo country. Are they going to rebel? No, I don't think so. <laughs> I think just one person's just kicked a wall over, but mostly, <laughs> mostly things are holding up. I think there's been a peaceful demonstration which I've chosen to ignore. Let's do giant spiders. <sighs> Conti mighty fighty shushbugs. Hello, mighty fighty shushbugs. Your grace, a forest on my land has been completely overrun by giant spiders. Some are as big as horses. The trees are shrouded in webs and travellers are going missing. We must put a stop to this. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, vote number eight sends in the army to wipe out the giant spiders. It has a 60% chance of succeeding due to the uh, Count's military stat of five. Option number B, burn it, burn it with fire. Lowers the trade and the farming of the Counts, but it does increase their defiance. Uh, we could put a bounty on the giant spider's legs. It just diminishes the coffer of the royal treasury. Uh, or we must learn to coexist with the giant spiders, which uh, essentially is doing nothing to help them, and the defiance of the count will go up. Hmm. No beef for chiefs, we want trade. So yeah, the... Um, a lot of the factions have to communicate amongst themselves what they want. But you have to remember who's on your team as well, which isn't that easy to do. Here's the noble list if you want to see. Um, and now I need to think what I want, because I want to use the monarch's iron choice. I'm going to choose send the army to wipe them all out. And that will make the counts probably think twice about voting for that. The voting begins now. A to send in the army, B to burn it with fire, C to put a bounty on the spider's legs, and D to coexist with the spiders. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of consensus among the counts about what the right response is to the spider problem. Uh, it looks like coexisting with the spiders is winning by a huge margin. Fifteen nobles have voted for coexisting with the giant spiders. Coexist, they're monsters. Mandibles dripping with venom, snatching merchants off the road and bringing them up to suck them dry. They're more afraid of you than you are of them. That can't be right. They're ten feet long ways and ten feet width ways and eight feet feet ways. Send your chancellor to Quail University. Perhaps the scholars will have some ideas for how you and the spiders can exist peacefully. Okay, you've um, you've shafted the counts only very slightly, and they do canonically. The royal wedding, yes, please. It's wife time. Wool in the chat, please. Your wedding to Lorelei is naturally the talk of the kingdom. Nobles and peasants alike travel across the realm to attend. For a week and a day, the capital is one giant party. It feels like you're the only one not taking part. Instead, you're getting ready for the ceremony. Soon enough, you're standing in St. Bernard's, Bertrand's 
cathedral with Lorelei at your side. Do you take this woman as your lawfully wedded wife? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Count. Sorry, everyone. King and wife. I don't want pretty. After the wedding, of course, there's a feast, and after the feast, a dance. Your new wife, Lorelei, laps up the attention, delivering a witty speech in which she flatters you outrageously. Okay, so stability is up. Sorry, counts. Authority is now commanding. Well done, King. Very well played. You've wifed yourself. Stability went up. Oh, no. Is there no chance that you could achieve anything? You just haven't had a chance, have you? You just haven't had the first chance to get anything done. The North Defiance is down. Uh, the coast is down. And er everyone's down. Everyone loves that I've married. Everyone loves that I've married. Everyone's happy. By the time you find yourself alone with Lorelei, it's past midnight and you've never felt more tired. You dance so very beautifully. It was such a wonderful day, wasn't it? I agree. You have to go along with it. Doesn't matter how I feel. I married for the low defiance. You endure a long conversation, okay, in which Lorelider seems determined to flatter you relentlessly and agree with everything you say. By night's end, you still don't know who Lorelei really is. Her real personality is concealed beneath a hundred layers of etiquette. You go to your separate bedchambers, still strangers. Oh no. Thanks, guys. I'm in a loveless marriage. Thanks a lot. If you guys could not horn you when it counts. This is why you don't marry for wool. <sighs> Mutiny. Dramatic news from the boat race, your serene highness. Lord Patrician Moore 3193 sent a letter telling me everything. We beg for aid. My crew has turned against me. Are you getting mutinied? Boo-hoo, the smuggler's getting mutinied. Why don't you drink some salt water and take a piss? They're saying I'm working them too hard and there's no hope of winning anyway. Now they demand higher pay. I want them to get a wipe down so I can do an Obra Dinn on them later. Watch them all claw in at their own necks, drinking limes. They're threatening to throw me overboard. I beg for help. Every minute we argue, we lose time against Dr. Plem. Depth below, we must step in. These sailors can't be allowed to disrupt the race like this. Absolutely not. If more 3,193 couldn't control his own crew, that's his fault he doesn't deserve to win. Absolutely. People need to understand that racing is a test of management skills. This has already hurt his chance. When I'm doing racing, when I'm doing my F1, I'm always pulling into that side thing and I'm saying, good job, boys. Here's £10. Put it towards the heating. This, oh, what have we got? Yeah, let's find out what I say and think. Sorry, Mary Shelley, I want to have nice hoax. That is actually what I think. I honestly don't want to. If, if Frankenstein made a monster, I probably wouldn't even go and see it. I wouldn't like the end of a little stick on fire and go and have a go. Uh, but I also wouldn't go and look. I uh, bro, don't, wouldn't care. Don't, I don't care now. You said someone's doing a Frankenstein. Someone's just reanimating, stitched a corpse together and reanimated it. I think, just, what's that got to do with me? What's that got to do with me? Is that going to change my gas prices? Then don't come to my door with Vista. You know, I'm the opposite of a NIMBY. You can put it anywhere, just don't let it come and, you know, if the Frankenstein's going to be banging on my doors talking to me or anything, I'm, then I'm against it. If someone made a Frankenstein, I'd say, you'd, you know, fill your boots. If the Frankenstein kept coming round my house trying to tell me about Digimon, I'd say, this is a mistake. Tear these bits back off and put it back underground. I'm not pouring a glass over my head. We need to get rid of those. <laughs> this is his chance of the winning. Why should he be punished further? We have three choices here. We can send coastal troops to make them fall in line. Um, only a 40% chance of success. The patricians can send funds to pay off the mutineers. Uh, this will raise stability. Uh, or let the mutiny resolve itself.
I'm just going to veto the 50% chance here. I don't think that's fun. And it's gone. So A, to fight them off. Or B, to uh, make them spend their own personal wealth, which they don't even have. They literally don't even have it. They have 50 woolen discs between the entire kingdom. Um, uh, to pay off the mutineers, which maybe raises their defiance and raises stability at the same time. The voting begins now. A or B? A failed military attempt or paying money they don't have to raise my stability? Okay, that is a huge amount of voting towards A. And the A's have it. Um, it's probably going to fail, and I'm interested in what will happen when it does. Zero. Okay, I'll have zero sips. Thank you. Voting is now closed. I do think that was a real zero. I think people have been adding zeros into there for fun. Send coastal troops to make them fall into line. Does it fail? Oh, it succeeded. That's a shame. Random breath. No breaths. Okay, I won't breathe. Um, coastal naval mercenaries quickly descended on the boat and overpowered the mutinous sailors. That is a shame. Lord Patrician Moore 3193 is soon back on track. Still, he remains behind Dr. Plem and the race is nearly over. Uh, the rebellion is now halted because defiance level of the patricians is now five. I think it needs to be six. And this is the end of the season. Sorry, Counts, you literally never had a chance. Establishing a monopoly in a dinghy. Could... Oh, I was just thinking about the water, but it's probably dingy. I was thinking in a dinghy because it's because it's showing me a picture of water. Maybe there's a H in dinghy. I'm not sure. In a dinghy seaside tavern. Two patricians of the coast meet to plot their latest scheme. The coast economy has never been better. We're making more money than I know what to do with, says Lord Patrician Imperial Lumi. Money breeds money. I've made a series of investments to improve our profits even more, says Noble Patrician and Good Pete. But what do we do with all the rest of this gold? There is no potential for fondness here. It is true. So Patrician's wealth has increased. Whose? Well, everyone's. Okay, everyone's a bit flush. Time to start buying things, of course. Land, road, bridges. We'll buy up the whole kingdom, piece by piece. But first, the king must be in desperate need of our gold. We got quite a lot of money back. To advance the scheme, the Patricians must lower the treasury to 1,500 or less in two seasons. Good effing Luck. I quantitatively eased myself into an iron palace. I have done Keynesianism to myself, and now I'm in a mech. Warning, the monarch has no air. Okay, I need to do some kind of fucking minigame. Um, it looks like... Well, it's what we already know. The North and the Patricians have gotten somewhere towards their task. The East has gotten nowhere. I think we might need to end it here. Ending on the end of a season. It's about half ten. I think trying to do another season would take it to eleven. And that's a bit later than I want to do. Because I've got... I'm basically busy from tomorrow morning. But I think, uh, I think next Friday would finish this campaign. Does that sound okay to everyone? Reconvene here in a week. Uh, 7.30 GMT. 8.30. This game is a lot of fun. I've really enjoyed it. Do you know if it... Um, do you know if it saves... Do you know if it will save this campaign for next time? Thank you, Wimp Talk. Thank you, everyone, who's, who's been hanging out. You assume it saves, but I don't know. Let me just check. 
I mean, I don't think I have enough. It will get too late to try and finish it. Does King of the Castle save between sessions? Yes, of course, you've had a nice, nice time. Dr. Plem's just given a little shout out to our Discord. Well, a lot of us like to hang out. We like to say egg. We like to communicate. Egg, egg. We rejoin next week and be in the same clan. I'm not sure. It'll be interesting to see uh, King of the Castle save, reload. How do I? Eggs and ask. Egg. Oh god, they've called they've called it King of the Castle, which is causing issues for searching. King of the Castle, save, reload, Egg. resume. I'll have to find out. <laughs> Let's see what happens if I try to quit. See what tells me here. And it says continue game. You may now continue a game. Completed games will create new saves where you can continue the story of your dynasty. Great, then we'll come back to this. Um, we'll come back to this next Friday. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for uh, voting, playing. Uh, I thought this would be a fun game to try out. And what's more, it has been... Uh, I'll be back on Sunday morning to continue playing um, Outer Wilds. I'm happy to report Timer that complete. Um, the Great Puppy Orchestra has entered into phase oh, three or four. Thank you very much for the eggs. Um, thank you for redeeming the welcome back, Albrot. Always love to see some new faces in the chat. Let's do this community grow from strength to strength. Um, who is around for... SK is around. Let's raid into SK. Uh, it's good to see everyone. If anyone hasn't before, feel free to go into the Discord and say hello, hear about things that are upcoming. Um, I will see many of you later, I am sure. Be well, behave well. Do not run amok. And if you do, I've never met you before in my life. <laughs>